We got our very good butcher's box. Yay, it's huge. I'm excited to open it and see what's in here. Can I open it, babe? Okay, I was literally in the middle of getting ready when this box showed up, but then it showed up and I figured why not start another vlog and show you guys what's in here. So this is a company based out of Victoria that makes vegan like meat substitutes. Um, I think that they've expanded to Vancouver now too, but Shane orders this every month and it comes with different things and we got some extra things this month. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, there's so much. This isn't even gonna fit in our freezer. <laughs> I just went out in this special what's, things. Let's see. I got the roast beef. Have you tried it before? No. Oh. I was excited about. Where's the one I was excited about, babe? Uh, hot right dogs. here. No. Oh, I am excited about that too. Very good dog. Oh, so cute. I love veggie dogs. This is what I was excited about. Oh, yeah. The right. vegan smoked salmon. I'm just so. It kind of freaks me out, but I'm so intrigued about it. Look, it's made of carrots. Really? Yeah, that's the first ingredient. What is it, carrots and ginger? No, sugar. Sugar, natural smoke flavor. The last ingredient is seaweed. You'd think that'd be higher up. So interesting. That was excited. That was what I was excited to try because I've never tried it before. Well, and then so that might, might be the... The dry ice? Yeah. yeah, I think it is. And then sausages. What's your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. What do I like the most in the box? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I really like. I think the the I think the burgers are quite good. Like the just the normal burgers. These ones. Those ones. Um. The very good burger. And we like the taco meat. Highly recommended by Shane. Taco stuffer. Yeah, that one's good. The um you ribs like the are rib, good too. Yeah, the ribs are really good actually. Delicious. Mm. Oh, I would just steak this time. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Exciting stuff. We've got a lot of food now. And I'm going grocery shopping this morning too. Okay, I'm just leaving the grocery store. I'll show you guys what I bought, but I'm using this new... My hair is crazy. I'm using this new meal planning app, which is like freaking amazing. I'll have to show it to you guys. Um, Hillary, our roommate, uses it. Um, so I finally downloaded it and oh my gosh, it's so amazing. So it like populates your grocery list and everything for you. So I just went into the grocery store to get the stuff for our next couple of meals. And yeah, it's just like so efficient. Um, I'm super stoked about it. So I just got like a few, a few things. It's still the morning and it was really nice going to get groceries in the morning. I never do that. We usually go like after Shane's done work or something. But yeah, it's just like way less hectic. So I'm kind of glad I did that. I think we're still going to stop at Costco after I pick him up from work though. And yeah, I just dropped Shane off at work before I went here. Okay, I'm home. Just poured myself a chocolate milk. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's the... There's a specific one that is my favorite this one the silk soy dark chocolate it is so good okay so we're gonna do a little mini grocery haul but i want to show you guys the app that i'm talking about first not sponsored at all they have no idea who i am um although if mia lime ever sees this and wants to sponsor me please do because i'm obsessed Okay, so I thought that this was a really cool thing to share because um, I get a lot of questions from people, especially on my vlogs, saying that um, they want more like vegan meal ideas or like tips on how to go vegan and whatnot. And although Meal Lime is not a vegan app, um, you can choose like whatever diet preference you want. Obviously, I selected vegan, so all the recipes available to me are vegan. But I just think it would be so awesome for people who want to like explore more vegan options or, you know, get ideas. Anyways, the reason I'm so excited about it is because it's just like so handy. Um, so there's like a whole bunch of meals and you can choose the ones that you want to eat, say for like the week. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably um, once a week choose a few meals to make throughout the week and then it builds you a meal plan. So I have these two um, for over the weekend. 
and then based on what you select it populates a grocery list mine's basically empty now because um i just went shopping and checked everything off but it's all like organized by section of the grocery store and it just makes it so handy it just does so many cool things like you can choose um, meals that work well together to reduce food waste and it works with like all kinds of preferences um yeah it's just like so freaking cool i'm so stoked about it I think I might actually make this chana masala right now because um, I kind of want to have it for lunch and then I don't have to cook later. So I might do that. There's also this secret recipe thing. So if you share it and somebody downloads it using your link, then you get access to a secret recipe. So if anyone wants to try it out, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. Um, and then if you guys use it, then I can get access to a secret recipe. Yeah, I'm just so excited. I get excited about this type of stuff. I don't know if anybody else um, is with me there, hopefully. But yeah, so I'll show you guys what I got at the grocery store. I washed my potting mats and a bunch of pots this morning. So that's what's chilling on the kitchen table. Okay, first I got spinach. It's basically all produce. Tomatoes, limes. I got so many limes. I needed like four. Dill, because we're out of dill. And cayenne. I couldn't find these. I wanted to find these in like the big bags, but I couldn't find any. Another lime jalapeno um another tomato yeah this is not not exciting not an exciting grocery haul diced tomatoes and then i'll show you what's in here and then there is cauliflower avocados ginger um an onion frozen corn garlic yeah basically all produce and a couple of spices for this grocery haul we get milk bread yogurt um and a couple other things oh i need to get oats we got all those things at costco so we'll do that later so anyways that is my excitement for the day gonna cook that chickpea thing now um so maybe i will let you guys know how it turns out Okay, so this is the stew. This is the rice. It has, um, I thought I bought cilantro, but it's actually parsley, <laughs> so whoops. But um, it has parsley, lime, cashews, and then the rice was cooked in a veggie broth. I cannot wait to eat this. I just tried it. it needs about five more minutes for the chickpeas. And I'm gonna add the spinach, but wow, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so there is the finished result, and I am so hungry. I'm gonna load this into a bowl right now and dig in. Is everybody else this messy when cooking? Like, oh boy. Or is it just me? Oh, you guys, I'm getting crazy. So, I've decided that I hate this plant shelf in here, like, it's just too abrasive for the dining room to have that big grow light and I just don't like it. Um, so I think I'm going to use this black ladder shelf that I just pulled out over our bedroom because it literally only had like two things on it. So I think I'm going to take everything off of this shelf, maybe sell this shelf. I don't know. Um, I have three of these shelves now. Like why do I need so many? Um, I don't know. I just want like a cuter set up like i don't mind those shelves in the plant room but for the dining room i don't know i just kind of want to make it cuter but greta is up there and i'm gonna have to take down all of her vines what a pain in the butt i don't even know what i'm doing we're just gonna figure it out as we go i guess
Okay, so this is the situation so far. I moved the shelf to there, put a grow light there. It's still not very good. It's not getting a lot of light to this shelf. Um, however, I did order a lamp, um, like a tree lamp, I think they're called. It's like a standing lamp with three different bulbs that you can point wherever. So I ordered that and three more grow bulbs. So I'm gonna put a lamp in here eventually. Well, when it comes, which is looking to be like the middle to end of June. Um, yeah, shipping takes forever sometimes to where I live. Um, but this should be fine for now. I put the mirror there um, because there's not really much I can do with that dark corner. And then I, I don't know, this is all just, I'm just trying to see. So I don't know if everything's going to be staying here, but I put my begonia maculata there. And then I think that I'm going to move this big monstera into that corner. And that'll just make this feel a little bit more open. It's kind of crowded right now with the monstera like in the middle um, of the wall. But yeah, so I need to put all of the plants on that shelf there. I think it's already looking so much better though. Um, just so much more homey uh, rather than having that like industrial <laughs> shelf right there. This is what we are working with. I think that it looks so much better. Um, oh my goodness, did I talk about the lamp yesterday? Yeah, I think I did. I ordered a lamp. Um, but yeah, this is looking so much better. I think I'm going to sell this shelf. I'm going to keep the light, but I think I'm going to sell this shelf on Facebook Marketplace um, probably this weekend. And yeah, this is what this side looks like. I don't know what I'm doing with that fan yet or the vacuum stuff is just chilling there, but otherwise we have a few plants down here. Very cute. It's a dark gloomy day today, so it's not very bright in here. Um, I need to deal with Greta, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I wanna film it. So she's gonna chill there for today. Yeah, I'm super happy with this. Maybe I'll show you the lamp that I ordered. Okay, so that is the lamp that I ordered. I think it's going to work really well. And then I ordered some of the Sansi. I'm not sure if that's how you say that. But um, some of the grow bulbs that I like. So I'll be able to point those like whichever direction I need them, I think. Um, so it should work well. But yeah, like I said, that is not supposed to be here for a few more weeks. This morning I was just working on my links. Um, which really needed updating in my description box. I always have links to my favorite planty products um, But now a lot of them were like outdated um, But now I have a storefront for us and a Amazon storefront for Canada So I think it's gonna be so much better. Most of my viewers are from the US But there are some that are from Canada and obviously I live in Canada So I wanted to have an option for both so hopefully those links are all working now i think i'm gonna make some more coffee it's 12 6 p.m i've been up since before six I'm kind of tired so Blah. i am getting ready to film i'm gonna film for patreon today and um yeah i'll probably just film for patreon today actually and then i have a video a bonus video i was gonna put up for tomorrow so i need to edit that as well but yeah just a bit of a gloomy day here again it's been a gloomy week honestly um but i feel pretty good about the stuff i have been getting done so yeah it's all good Good 
good morning happy saturday we just got ready we are going to head out and take the dogs for a walk it looks really nice and sunny but the weather says it's supposed to be partly cloudy and only like 18 degrees it does look quite cloudy but i'm sure it'll be a lovely walk regardless let's look at the peduncle on my hoya puba calyx i've been checking it every day Ooh, look at that i wonder when it's gonna open i can't wait ouch every time i try to look at that it gets scraped i made it a bit shorter so far what's that Kind of make the, I made the thing shorter. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. On the road again to the dog walk. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like the one time I leave the house during the week. Oh. You look so cute. Come here. Oh, you keys in the there. Oh, my keys are in there. Yeah, here. Remember that Oh no, it's going away. What? Wow. Just got home from our walk, which was so nice. And now Shane's making us lunch. A good man. I know, our messy kitchen. <laughs> That's fine, they've seen it. They've seen it. <laughs> this is our gourmet meal of burgers it's, it's on bread bean. and a side of beans and a Zevia ginger ale. Really living it up here. Shane is mowing the lawn like a good man. Look at him go. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, this week is so boring. I'm so sorry. Am I gonna be able to do weekly vlogs when like, you know, 75% of my weeks are just boring? <laughs> um, however, next week, I next weekend I have plans. I'm going away to one of the Gulf Islands. So the next vlog should be good. But right now, I am just going to put my cactus outside because the sun is finally out and this poor cactus garden has been inside all week because it's been raining. So let's put it outside. 
my goodness so much stuff in this laundry room baby oh my gosh these need to be watered my baby cactus imagine if I fell with this oh my gosh okay I got it out Somebody commented on the last vlog saying how they appreciated that I have like not an Instagrammy house, I just have like a regular house. And that's definitely the vibe. <laughs> this is most definitely not an Instagrammy house, but I think it gives a little dose of real life, you know? Um, housing is just so freaking expensive. Like, I hope one day I will be in my dream space, but this is definitely not it. The shelf is still sitting out here as well. I really need to list this on Facebook. Probably tonight or tomorrow. I need to take the light off though. Ugh, this is just one of those weekends where I have so much stuff to do that it's like too overwhelming and I can't even get started on one thing at all. But anyways, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and then I need to finish filming my Patreon video because I did half of it yesterday. <laughs> and then um, Shane came home from work and we ended up walking the dogs, but Today, right now, I'm gonna be fil filming the other half. Okay, I finished filming my Patreon video, which was a plant tours vlog, so it was good that I got to get some things done as well. Oh, and okay. now, yeah, now Shane and I are cooking dinner and we're using the Meal Lime app again that I'm obsessed with. Why is my tripod so crooked? Just wait. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about <laughs> your This is perfect. I'm like a he headless horseman. <laughs> How are you feeling about our cooking so far? So far, it seems pretty um, self-explanatory. We're on step number three. Wash and dry the fresh produce. to eat this yum It's pretty good though. I put that huge, huge piece of ginger in because it was all like dry and shriveled. So I was like, oh, there's probably not much juice that's gonna come out, out of it. It'll be like equivalent to a smaller piece. No, this thing was so gingery. I had to juice an apple and an orange to add to this because it was so spicy. I just edited a video and we just booked a gym appointment. So we're gonna go to the gym and do upper body, which is probably good. I need to get my energy up today. That's why I made this juice too. And then I have some cleaning to do and I'd like to edit another video tonight. We shall see if I get that done. We shall see. Well, I might because I do have like a quick one I can edit. Oh yeah, I posted on Instagram about this bird of paradise leaf being furled like this for several it's been like a few months honestly and so many people messaged me and said that i have to free it because it's gonna get all jacked up so people recommended like putting a wet paper towel on it or like soaking it with a sponge basically just wetting it um and some people said to like peel up the edge 
So I think I'm gonna start by wetting it and see what happens. Um, yeah, let's do that. That's a thing. A bunch of people messaged me. They said it's gonna be all jacked up if I don't if I don't help it. Yeah, when you're ready. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm gonna put a wet towel. <laughs> I don't know. That's what people told me to do. Be careful, honey. I am being careful. my gosh i cannot believe that that wet towel thing worked oh be careful honey okay hey guys i am just hopping on here to end the vlog but i thought before i go i would give you an update on the bird of paradise leaf i don't even know what footage i got from um putting the warm towel on it to unfurl it but the camera was running so i'll have to see when i edit this video um but this is what the leaf is looking like it's like folded um so i'm hoping it will sort itself out but yeah i don't know it's just kind of folded <laughs> i'm hoping it'll just you know go normal but other than being folded it looks pretty good and i moved it over to be in front of the window again because right now there's no grow light over there so I want to make sure it's getting a lot of light. So yeah, that is kind of an update on how it's doing. I compiled my Instagram stories of this unfurling with the towel onto TikTok um, and made just like a little TikTok out of those, those stories. And it has almost a million views, which I'm, I'm so shocked. It has over 900,000 views right now and it's only been up for like a day and a half. I'm so mind blown about it because I don't get those kind of views on TikTok or anywhere um so yeah it's really crazy anyways yeah i'm gonna edit this video now like i said hopefully next week is a more eventful vlog do you guys still want me to vlog when i'm just like not really doing anything too crazy let me know either way thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it really helps me out and um, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more planty and lifestyle content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.